Hey everyone, I'm just going to show you how you can build your own Android app and have it published to the Android store in a matter of minutes. Um, obviously useful for, for developing a mobile application for students that don't have access to an iOS and considering it is the biggest mobile marketplace in the world, it's something that um, you should consider for your, for your classes and it really is easy. So the website is publish5.com, 5 being the number 5, not the actual um, the spelling, um, but you simply go ahead and add in a heap of RSS feeds and links to websites and so on and it really puts them in a nice um, format so I'll add stuffs to my app and I would like to add in a um, link to my WordPress blog so I'll, I'll type in blog here but however you could add in a, an RSS feed for whatever you like I'll go to my blog paste in my link and hit OK and it's going to work to add my blog into a nice mobile friendly readable format if you click on um, the items it doesn't actually show you how it looks but it gives you a bit of an idea if I go and press OK then I can make changes to the the look of that particular item make it look casual and friendly it's pretty cool professional modern I don't mind the chit chat one wacky, talk of the town, playful. I'm going to go with the professional look. I think that looks the best. And then I hit OK. And yep, I'm pretty happy with that. I can change the overall style of my application and um, change the color. I'm going to call mine the PE Geek and the main website is thepegeek.com. Now here you need to give it a market ID and this is the ID that it will have on the Android store. I just always use the reverse of my actual website for market IDs. Um, you can use whatever you like and press OK. Once you've done that you can go back and you can add more um, more things to your app. I'm going to add some stuffs. I'm going to add a Twitter account and I'll call it Twitter and my username is Mr. Robbo. Hit OK and there we are we've got my Twitter my Twitter feed um, appeared I can change the style or the color if I like which I won't do at the moment I'll add some more items and make some changes to, to Twitter I'll use the chit chat layout I think that looks pretty cool add stuffs I'm going to add a YouTube channel Let's call it YouTube and put in my channel ID and then hit OK and there's the YouTube channel added you can again change the layout and so on but you can continue to add items for your particular um, blog or whatever it might be you can add in RSS feeds so that they automatically syndicate and create a pretty cool looking mobile app for Android now when you've, you're happy with um, how it looks you can in fact go to test or publish my app and hit publish my app now it's going to bring up an, an option where you need to pick an image which will be used for the icon so you can go ahead and, and choose one of those um, let's just use this standard one for now and then I can choose splash screens if I like I can press OK and it will bring me to the option where I can publish my app and at this point it's not letting me publish my app probably because I haven't finished everything if I hit pricing plans though it gives you an idea of how much it will cost you if you want to make one app then you've got $19 as a one-time fee so there's one application made it's going to cost you $19 and it'll be available on the Android App Store or the Google Play Store as it's now known for your students to get um, so that's what I've gone ahead and done and now my app is um, waiting to be uploaded to the Android store which they help you with um, so yeah really powerful really cool and certainly something that um, teachers should consider um, for people who don't have access to um, an iOS device but have the most popular mobile device that we actually have so publish5.com check it out